Happy Monday. Happy Blessing Day. Today is Blessing Day. Today is the day we call for our blessing. Amen. To have the blessing spoken over us, the word for word blessing that God told us to speak. He said, you speak this over the people and I will put my name on them and I will bless them. It's very important. I've already had that spoken over me today. Amen. So I do the same thing. Believe me, if I tell people they should do something, I do it. I do it myself. Amen. Today, I want to talk to you about what you should pray. Pray this over yourself every single day. It takes you about 20 seconds. It'll change your life. Amen. This is going to be good. Huh? Hey, say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. I am good looking. Getting better looking every day. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the best pastor in the whole country. Somebody at church yesterday said, the whole world. I said, well, we're going to say the whole country right now. We may have to do have the committee do a search and see if there's anybody out there in the world that's, that's equal. But nobody in the country is. Somebody tried. Somebody thought they had a candidate. They didn't. I'm still number one, best preacher in the country. But if you have somebody that you think measures up, let me know. We'll do an investigation. They might. There's a lot of great pastors. Turns out this pastor that somebody was putting forth, uh, putting forward uh, to the committee for consideration is a great pastor. He's a pastor anybody would be proud to have. but he didn't make the cut, not didn't make it to number one. So praise God for that, huh? I'm holding on to my title, but I'm willing to share it. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Amen. Tell everybody you know about the best preacher in the whole country. And one of the things that makes me the best preacher in the whole country is I am accessible. I believe when you partner with a ministry, you should have access to the minister. All of our partners do. My phone number, my personal cell phone number is on the front page of the website. And I answer the phone all day long. Glory to God. Is that good? Huh? All day long, I answer the phone. So praise God for that, huh? And I am ready to pray with you. People tell me all their stuff. Amen. And I get a lot of calls. Today, my phone will ring all day long up until midnight. People say, I want my weekly blessing. Also, if you do offerings and donations today, make sure you call me because I want to speak the blessing over you. Amen. I want to tell you today, I want to talk about, it's out of our book, our How to Pray book. Get this book. This is a great book, folks. How to Pray. The reason we wrote that book is because very few people actually know how to pray. Do you know how you can tell if somebody knows how to pray or not? Not by the words, but by results. Are they getting prayers answered? That's one thing. That's one of the criteria that makes me the best preacher in the whole country is I get Prayers answered for people. People call me. I get their prayers answered. And believe me, we get praise reports all day long from people calling, Pastor Jim, I got it. I got it. Of course you got it. Of course you got it. Because I prayed about it. Amen. I don't just pray with people. I fully intend to get my prayers answered. When you read this book, your prayer life will change. You won't just sit and pray about something all night long. You'll pray about it for 20 seconds and get answers to it. 
Amen. Amen. Peter, Pastor Jim, I've been praying for two years. But they didn't get an answer. And why? The simple reason. They don't know how to pray. Most people don't. Amen? But we do. It's, uh, it's simple. It's right in the Bible. It tells us how to do this. So I just looked it up. And I do it the way they said. And I get results. How simple. People, I'm telling you, do not trip over how simple all this is. God has not made his word difficult. It's very simple. People say, well, the word of God is hard. No, it is not. The word of God is easy and loving and wonderful. Amen. Now, let's get to this here before I run out of time. This is in Ephesians. My Bible's falling apart. You can see this. These, I spend so much time in Galatians and Ephesians that it literally is falling out of my Bible. Look at this. Look at this. How many of you know if your Bible's falling apart, that's a good thing. I would say get another Bible, but I like this one so well. Okay, here it is. This is what I want you to do. I want you to pray Ephesians chapter 1. Now write this down. Verse 17 and 18 over yourself every day. If you do, it will change your life. It will change your life. I'm going to tell you how to do this. Now, Paul is talking uh, to the Ephesians. And he said, I pray for you. I pray for you, he says. He says, I pray for you. He says, ceasing not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. He, 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 he's, he's telling the Ephesians, I pray for you. Now, here's what he prays for him. He says, I pray for you that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory would give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The spirit of wisdom and revelation knowledge. I pray, I pray that God will give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation knowledge. That the eyes of your understanding would be enlightened. That's an epiphany that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Paul is praying that people have the spirit of wisdom and revelation knowledge of their inheritance. You have an inheritance. Most people don't know it. Most people have no idea what their inheritance is. If you know what your inheritance is, you can become very difficult for the devil to, to deal with. Because if, you're, if, you're, if you have the spirit of wisdom and you know what your inheritance is, you're going to demand your inheritance. An inheritance is something. You have to make a demand for it. Yes, I know what's in the will and I want it. We had a lady in our church who was left a large sum of money. And when the person died, she called the executor, the executor said, no, there's nothing for you. This lady said, I know there is. I said, well, where is the lawyer's office? She knew because she had taken that person there. I said, go to the lawyer's office and tell him you want a copy of the will. And do not take no for an answer. If your name is in that will, you are entitled to a copy of it. So she went there. And they said, we can't give you that information. She said, my name is in it. I want it. They gave it to her. Well, lo and behold, there it was. Her name and a large sum of money. So she said, now what do I do? I said, call them back. Call the executor back and tell her you got a copy of the will. Well, they were just incredulous that she would have a copy of that will. And then they said, well, there's no money available. She said, I know better than that. They said, well, we'll work something out. She said, okay. So 
she got a letter and a form. And they said, we will give you one third of what you got coming to you if you just sign off on it and be done with it. So she signed it, but she didn't send it in. She put it in her purse. Then she came to church that Wednesday night and she said, you know what? She said, they, they offered me one third of it. I signed it and, and she said, I didn't mail it because I got it in my purse. I said, tear that thing up. You call them back and you tell them you want every penny or you will put a lien on that person's house so they can't sell it. You can do that. If you have a legitimate reason, she called him back. She said, I want everything. Took a couple months, but, it, but she got it, the entire amount, because I would not let her settle for anything less. Now that's an inheritance. Your inheritance is the covenant that God made with Abraham and the blessing of Abraham. That is your inheritance. Now you need to have a revelation knowledge of it. And this verse, if you pray this over yourself every day, I've done this already this morning. Here's how I pray it. Thank you, Lord, for this day. And thank you, Lord, for the blessing that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, would give me the spirit of wisdom, revelation, knowledge, and favor. I pray for those three things every day. Using this verse, that the eyes of my understanding would be enlightened, that I may know what is the hope of, of your calling and the riches of the glory of my inheritance. I got a revelation one time that uh, Creflo Dollar said, the minute you get a revelation that the blessing belongs to you, your life will change. Mary and I got that revelation one day. I said, you know something, honey? I said, that blessing belongs to us. Three days later, there was a huge check in the mail. Come to find out they had written it almost at the exact time I said that. When I got that revelation, they wrote a check for a lot a month, straightened out all of our finances, got all of our bills caught up, and gave us money left over to have in the bank. Glory to God. Now that's what a revelation does. Revelation. Revelation knowledge is knowledge in your heart. It's faith. The spirit of wisdom we're talking about in church on Sunday, it's a spirit that comes over you so you know right from wrong, so you will not make mistakes. So bad people, you'll know who they are. Bad opportunity, every opportunity is not good. Some opportunities are not good for you. They will, they'll, they'll make your life miserable. You will know the difference. Some investments are good, some aren't. How would you like to know the difference? The spirit of wisdom will show you. Ask, and favor, one day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor. You ask God, you pray that over yourself every single day, Ephesians 1, 17 and 18, and add in favor. And I'm telling you what, you do that for a while and watch what happens. People wonder where all these books come from. Where does all this stuff come from that God gives me? All this revelation knowledge and, and how do I make these? Folks, let me tell you something. There's things about social media and things about stuff I know that nobody else knows. And where did I get it? Wisdom got us this house for probably seventy or $80,000 below market value. That was wisdom that made that happen for us. The spirit of wisdom, because I ask God every day for it. And favor that, that does things for us that you can't imagine. You can live that way. I'm out of time. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Tell everybody to, to watch the videos of the best preacher in the country. Amen. Glory to God. And then they'll call me and I'll pray over them and cast out that, 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 the curse, the curse of the law and speak the blessing over them. Also, don't forget, when you do your offerings and donations today, make sure you call me, but also make sure you call me today because today is Blessing Day. Blessing Monday. I want to speak the blessing over you, but especially over your offerings and donations today. Have a wonderful day. I'm determined you're going to live a curse-free, blessed life.